This could be interesting. It's like a Sunny V2 video. This is the rise of KSI and Logan Paul's prime hydration. People on YouTube are no longer just YouTubers. They're quickly becoming business people, artists, athletes, philanthropists, and billionaires. Aside from True. Mr. Beast, KSI and Logan Paul are well on their way to creating something that has never been seen before with prime hydration. Prime is quickly separating itself from the majority True. of YouTube products. It's no longer just merchandise, but a mainstream. They got a beverage brand that is like actually competing with like Gatorade and Powerade and whatnot. It's pretty crazy, pretty wild to see what the YouTubers are doing. Global brand that has this generation in a chokehold. So how also did two former boxing internet too. rivals come together like to create quite possibly one of the biggest and strategic business moves in social media? This is the rise of Prime and YouTube's first billionaires. YouTube's billionaires. We all know who these people are, but to get a better understanding of where they are today and how Prime came to be, we need to go back to August 2018. On the 25th of August 2018, oh, that's when they first a boxing fought, right? fight took place between KSI yeah. and Logan Paul. After KSI witnessed the commercial and financial success of the first ever YouTube boxing event between him and Joe Weller, he set his sights on his next victim. It couldn't just be anyone though. There had to be a few parameters when choosing his next opponent. They had to have a similar level of clout, physically match, and be someone who could play the villain. Logan was the perfect casting for this storyline of boxing events. After just coming off his Suicide Forest video in December 2017 and having done the rounds of apologies on international television and being dropped by every major brand association he had, Logan needed oh a Oh man, that was the same year, wasn't it? Boxing Holy. Event was the perfect opportunity. It was a win win for everyone involved. Yeah. Logan gets his shot of redemption and changing his public perception, while That's KSI crazy. gets to push the limits of what a YouTube event can be. And at the time, for fans, they got the chance to see a guy who filmed a dead body in a suicide forest potentially get knocked the fuck out. All of these elements made the anticipation for the fight unlike anything Which seen on the internet happen, at the but time. The fight resulted in a majority draw fight. and fans begging for a rematch. With right. JJ and Logan being the entertainers that they are, the second fight took place on the 9th of November 2019 at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. KSI won the fight by a split decision. To the winner by split decision from the United Kingdom. The that was a crazy day. Although KSI came out on top in the fight, for Logan, it wasn't necessarily an L. Because his public perception had shifted, he was no longer that incredibly True. annoying and dumb American kid. He fully worked on himself Got away from the blogger uh, Through the process of the style fight, stuff. Logan gained respect and admiration Turned into of a KSI boxer. and has thanked JJ on multiple occasions for saving his career. Okay, so you come to grips with that, but you still have to plot the return because it's not like... There was no plot. I got fucking lucky as shit that my British counterpart, KSI, called me out for a boxing match. Oh, oh shit. Mm. Pe people joke. I thought people joke. They say, you know, KSI I saved your career, right? Because he, he called me out the box and it gave me but an it's opportunity pretty to true. literally start my potential redemption. Man was like at the lowest of lows. My way back. In history. Ever since the second for YouTube. Fight, both JJ and Logan. Like the man was at a big low on in YouTube. At that point, and KSI calling him out really was like a save for his career. Logan developed a friendship and mutual respect for each other, finding a lot of similarities in each him other. Him fighting gained people's obvious respect. That you KSI know? and Logan had a lot more in common than people thought when both of their younger brothers fought against each other. In and him just growing and maturing. The trajectory of their careers is very similar, but in two different worlds. They have equal reach and influence in two different continents, and have business portfolios in a wide range of markets. On the 29th of right. December, 2021, two years after the second boxing event, J. JJ and Logan began to tease a mysterious third and final event of the saga, with an official announcement dropping on Instagram Live on the 4th of January 2022. We have a project we want to tell you about. We have created our own drink company. Yes! Holy! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> After Crazy. the live video announcement, their fans found out that it I've wasn't still a yet to fight, try it. but news of a joint venture into the sports drink cool. industry. <laughs> Prime Hydration was conceptualized with Logan having conversations with US investors, settling on a partnership with the Kentucky-based consumer packaged goods company, and approaching JJ about the opportunity. I'm sure it wasn't a hard sell for JJ. Just evaluating both of their individual resources, you can understand why coming together was a good idea. They created a transatlantic product right. that metaphorically stretches its hands across continents, creating one of the first truly global YouTuber products operating on this scale. The duo claim that the biggest goal and mission statement of their products is taste and hydration. 
hydration. Or as their bottle says, where function and flavor come first. Each bottle contains 10% coconut water, zero sugar, BCAAs, antioxidants, electrolytes, no and zinc for immunity in five different flavor options, including huh. blue raspberry, grape, orange, lemon and lime, and fruit punch. In an interview, Logan stated, every influencer can create any product they want. Specifically with beverages, we've seen it before. We've seen influencers attempt to make a mark in this industry and fail time and time again. With us, our demographic skews sure, younger, seen a couple. 18 to 25. It's much younger than the traditional sports drink market. So we're adding incremental dollars to this category. It's interesting that Logan mentions this as well because they know as their audience grows up, so do their sales. On the 8th of January, 2022, right. the drink officially launched in stores and online exclusively in the US. On the launch, the demand was so high that it sold out online. Man, I missed up. Days. I saw these one time at my Walmart and I haven't seen them since. I think it was like the day they came out. I just happened to be at Walmart and I saw one. I didn't get one, <laughs> unfortunately. I should have because like they have not shown up since. I just want to try one to see what the flavor is like. After the announcement, you can't get it. On the 17th of June 2022, <laughs> Prime was officially launched in the UK exclusively in Asda stores for initially £1.50 a bottle, but that price has since seen an increase to £2 a bottle. The deal with Asda <laughs> is said to last until at least Christmas. KSI and Logan celebrated the UK launch with YouTuber Gideon on an open top bus outside of Asda with hundreds of fans. After a month of the official UK launch in Asda, on the 27th of July 2022, JJ announced a partnership with Arsenal. They announced Prime Hydration as the official Arsenal. hydration partner for Arsenal, which basically means you can Holy. buy it in the stadium on game day. The collab took months to pull off. Wait, and KSI that means they probably have like an advertisement in the stadium for Prime. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I apparently didn't tell any of his close friends about the deal because he loves the element of surprise, leaving them to find out via the announcement on Arsenal's Instagram feed. As well as Asda and the Emirates Stadium on game day, the drink is also available via the UK Prime website, which has restricted supplies and made it difficult to get hold of. When Prime yeah. was initially launched, the drink was shipped in from the US. Jesus. However, supplies were unable to meet the chaotic demand. Due to the demand, Prime is now manufactured by Refreshco, a Dutch beverage company that is known for working with Old Jamaica and Calypso, Calypso. in the UK. This was done to help ease the flow of product in the UK, but since demand is still high, it's tailoring its deliveries to spread supply more evenly to ensure that every outlet can be stocked with a least three or six different flavors at one time however it's still basically impossible to get hold of so what's happening <laughs> why is there a shortage when everyone involved with the brand says that they're supplying enough oh, it's always too much that. demand oh, right no honestly people are just selling on the black market mm. there's legit mm. i shit you not the uh, resellers you prime is asda and uh, i forgot store. about that but people are getting on Petrus since they're like youtuber How? influencers and stuff people try to resell mark up these a lot I kind of forgot about that. You know how? As the employees <laughs> aren't even fucking putting on the shelves anymore. Oh, they're like, they're just they're shipping them out low shipping key. Out low key. They're, like, <laughs> point. they're just shipping the them out the back. It turns out the same Jeez. as the drug industry, Prime has developed a black market with absolute criminals. Due to the shortage, people are bulk buying the drink in order to sell it on, with some bottles going for as much as 10 grand on eBay. This is no longer just little Dell boys in your school making racks selling stolen Bro, goods. Bro, ain't no Tesco's way somebody Express. buying that. They've become Alan Sugars. Like the drug industry, there seems to be an average price on the black market for Prime, ranging between five to 15 pounds. Boss men up and down the UK have been making racks. 21 year old <laughs> shopkeeper, Amir Khan, stated in an interview with The Independent that nobody has complained about the price. One person asked me to put it behind the counter and paid £15 for it. Customers 15? are only allowed to buy two drinks per visit due to its popularity. Oh, that's a some meal. people online <laughs> even claim that the Asda staff are the ones who are making the stock and then some. But Asda workers have left their thoughts on the whole old deal. One online commenter stated, As I work in Asda, I can agree with this. My manager took out five each and I've never seen it been put out as I work night shifts. But it's mental how many people ask me if we have Prime and I've always got to say, nah, but it's crazy another oh, online shit. commenter stated huh. as an as the night shift worker i have only seen prime come into my store once two cases of 12 came in and sold out on that day the stores are hustling to the store again since i think one of the main problems is that People there's a lot of stores out. that Holy. just aren't getting the stock in the first place the whole fiasco has got so crazy that Jeez. there is now even a twitter account called prime tracker that was set up to help fans find locations and available bottles tracker. around the uk with this help <laughs> kids have been getting up before as even opens at 6 a.m to get their hands on it i think these scenes of kids fighting over prime is a real example of how influential jj and logan really are in august True. 2022 it was reported that prime hydration made 37.6 million dollars in retail sales for the last 50 say again 
Prime Hydration made $37.6 million in retail sales for the last 52 week period, making it the sixth largest brand Pretty in good. the sports drink category. And in the four week period ending in September 4th, Prime sold an additional $8.3 million, as well as making another $9.5 million in September. According to Prime, they've already passed Damn. 100 million bottles sold, which is absolutely bonkers. KSI and Logan Paul True. have this generation in a chokehold. Their rise in influence is incredible to sit back and watch. Many, many YouTubers sell True. merchandise, but not many make a product. KSI stated on a podcast that he was offered $10 million to start a podcast. Although the $10 million Ten. offer was attractive, he turned it down. I think this is a perfect example of why the tide is changing with YouTubers. I feel if you were to ask any YouTuber five years ago whether they would take that $10 million, they'd take it in Bro, a they, heartbeat. They, but they, KSI <laughs> is not any YouTuber. He, <laughs> give me, along give me. with Logan Paul and Mr. Beast, will be the first self-made YouTube billionaires. Yeah. Prime is truly a reflection of two guys in their prime and a story of redemption that concludes with the message that no matter how far you fall <laughs> your prime is yet to come i want to say one day that uh quite a message case i saved my career but i made him a billionaire <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's thank you Damn. so much for watching this video and your support that would be pretty crazy if he can do that make them both billionaires seems like they're well on their way